Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm gonna walk through how to do a transmission fluid uh, change in a 2013 through 2018 Acura RDX. This is the six cylinder engine with the six speed transmission. Uh, these have a common issue where the, the transmission fluid actually kind of wears out prematurely. Once you start getting uh, close to 100,000 miles, you might notice the uh, transmission has an issue. When it locks up, it'll tend to shutter on the highway going in and out of lockup. And, um, this one also shifts a little bit different when it's cold. Anyway, uh, the solution is to drain and fill the fluid three times. Um, so how to do that easily? Let's see, tools we'll need here. I've got a half inch torque wrench with a three eighths adapter on it. Two long skinny funnels. And I've got my fluid here. The best price I found on the fluid, by the way, was uh, to buy Honda fluid. I found it on Amazon. I think it was about $120 for a case 12. It's uh, ATF DW-1. All right, so the first thing we want to do is remove the dipstick. And if you look on the front of the engine, you can see the dipstick's down here. Go ahead and pull that out of the way, set it aside. And it's kind of difficult to see. I may not be able to get it on the camera here, but you can you can tell where that, that dipstick came from. Uh, we want to go ahead and remove that before we remove the drain plug so that the uh, there's no vacuum on the fluid and it can come out easily. The drain plug for the transmission, if you look under the vehicle, it's located right here. It's a, that's what that 3 8 drive is for. Um, that's just drain plug right there. Little tip when you're draining the fluid. I've got this vehicle up on ramps just for some extra clearance. And then I put my drain pan on a box so it sits up a little bit closer to that drain plug. Um, you'll find this fluid's really thin and it's just gonna rush out of there. So I actually wear a glove and kind of hold the drain plug just off the hole to kind of slow the fluid down. Uh, makes a lot less of a mess. I was able to do it with pretty minimal, minimal uh, mess here. All right, so what you wanna do is drain that fluid out and go ahead and put 3.3 quarts in. Uh, use your two long skinny funnels. You can kind of angle those to get to that, uh, the dipstick uh, hole to add the fluid. Add 3.3 quarts, drive the car around for 10 minutes, drain the fluid again, add 3.3 quarts, drive it around for 10 minutes, drain the fluid, fill it up again with 3.3 quarts. And then after you do it that third time, um, you'll want to go ahead and check the fluid level and make sure that's all set right. Uh, how you check the fluid level in these, you can see this uh, dipstick has a hot, um, high and low level. You wanna get it between those two. And the technique for doing that in these cars is with the engine running um, and at a hot idle, you wanna shut the engine off and then check the fluid level between 60 and 90 seconds after you shut the engine off, uh, in park obviously. So, Sounds a little bit weird, but that's how the manual tells you to do it. Um, I found that 3.3 quarts gets you close enough to drive it around between the changes, and then after you change it the last time, uh, go ahead and do the dipstick to get everything set up right. Oh, and one last thing, the torque on that drain plug bolt is 36 foot-pounds, um, and my torque wrench fits in there nicely just without the adapter. Cool, thanks for watching.